Hey everyone, Wayne here from Zanata. Today I'm going to go over the new sync inside Zoho campaigns, how to set it up, and everything you need to know. But before we jump into the video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button below, and I hope you find this video useful. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First, let's jump into Zoho campaigns. Um, and to activate the sync, there are a few steps we need to do first, but first I'll go ahead and show you what happens if you just try to activate it immediately. So if we go to sync services, here we have the migrate now to turn on the revamped sync. Um, I do wanna note there, I haven't heard any issues with list being deleted or anything, but it's always a safe practice. If you have contact lists that only exist inside Zoho campaigns, I would take the extra five minutes to export those lists to a CSV file um, before you turn on the sync, just kind of as a safe practice. Um, but first we actually need to set up topics um, and topics. The easiest way to describe them essentially is when someone receives a newsletter, a mailing list, um, Let's say you have a promotion, you have newsletters. Well, well, topics basically associate a person on your on your mailing list or your, your segment list with uh, various topics, whether it be like a newsletter or promotion. So if they want to get your newsletter, but they don't want to get your promotions, they can go ahead and unsubscribe from just the promotions, but still get the newsletter. So topic basically takes your brand and segments it into the different mailing categories that you might be sending out campaigns for um, and allows the user to choose you know which topic they want to be associated with so let's go ahead and click on the migrate now and i'll, sh I'll show you what happens when you don't have topics set up so we'll go ahead and proceed and we get this error message right here so first we need to go ahead and set up topics um, I'm not going to dive too deep into topics right now. I'm just kind of going to go um, pretty quickly. And Zoho also uh, recently updated the topic management system. Um, I would highly recommend updating it first before setting up the topics. And I'm going to go ahead and do this now. But these highlights are nice. You know, topic management will be mandatory for all organizations. And this is going to happen regardless. Um, and the, the main one here, though, is topics will be directly associated contacts and not through mailing lists. So as you're sending out campaigns and associating them, you can it's much simpler now to associate contacts with topics and not having them forced specifically to one mailing list, especially, especially now since we're going to be using segments um, instead of mailing list in most cases. So let's go ahead and proceed and turn this on. And it is now set up. So let's go ahead. We have a marketing topic here for our organization. Let's add uh, one more we'll call it newsletter. Um, I don't want to go too in depth in this, but when someone goes to unsubscribe, these are things they will see um, when they go manage preferences. So it's nice to have a little description that you're aware that they are going to see on the user end. Um, so now that we have our topics set up, let's go back to our sync services. And now if we hit migrate now, We are now set up. Now that we have the new sync set up, let's go ahead and create a new sync. So here we'll hit add new sync. We'll select the module in which, in which we want to pull the data from. Um, in this case, I'm going to do contacts. Um, some organizations only send mail to their contacts. It's fine. You'll only want to set up a sync for your contacts, vice versa. Some organizations only want to send um, campaigns to their leads. And some want to do both. If you want to do both, you'll want to duplicate this process and do the, the leads module. Um, we'll skip syncing to a list since we're going to do segments. 
Uh, subscription type, in most cases, it's going to be marketing, but in some cases, maybe you're sending data to your shareholder or your employees, and you know, most of those cases would be non-marketing. Um, update empty field value. Let's say you remove a field in the CRM that's related to the sync. Um, if you want to go ahead and remove it from here as well, the sync, that would be turned on to erase that. And under advanced options, exclude uh, opt out contacts. This should always be on. Um, if they opt out, I mean, they shouldn't be receiving um, emails. And then remove opt out. Zoho CRM records also should be turned on because if they opt out, they, sh they shouldn't be getting your newsletters or your mail. Let's go ahead and hit next. Oh. And here we could choose if we wanted to associate them ahead of time, we could choose a topic, but for now we'll just hit marketing. Okay, now one cool thing is with this new sync, um, previously you would just pull in fields from the contacts module, but now you can also pull in um, account fields and deal fields. And this is extremely powerful because before most of these custom fields and stuff, if you wanted to get a mailing list specific on these fields, you had to go into the CRM and oftentimes run a custom report and then export that report and import it into campaigns as its own mailing list. Now inside the segments, you can actually build segments on, you know, account fields related to that contact, deal fields relating to that contact, and then all of the fields uh, you want relating to that contact. Um, if you wanted to map more fields, you can also do that. I would recommend, you know, getting stuff like first name um, added, you know, if you have custom fields that are in the CRM, um, like let's say UTM source, maybe we want to add that. We probably wouldn't need this in the campaign, but you never know. You might be filtering by, you know, a specific campaign you ran in AdWords. And in this case, you might want to filter, you know, which contacts were part of this ad campaign that showed interest in this product. So you would go ahead and map those now. Um, once you initiate this, you can always go back like, oh man, I forgot a field. I want to map that field too. Um, you simply just go to edit. And then under map fields, you can go ahead and map more fields. So now that we've got our sync set up, um, one way to verify your sync is you can come here and look at the field mapping and look at the sync history. So it takes a little while to sync, so we'll take a, a short little break and come back right when this is done syncing. Okay, I just went ahead and refreshed and now we can see that it's pulled in 14 contacts. Um, it hasn't added or updated anyone new since the latest sync, um, but this is all real time now. So anytime something gets added or updated inside the CRM, you can go ahead and view your sync history here. So now that we have our contacts sync set up, we can go ahead and create a segment. Okay, so now that we have our contact sync set up, let's go ahead and create a segment. Um, so if we go to contacts and we go to segments, um, inside the segment section, we'll go ahead and create a new segment. And here, um, we'll just call this test last name. And I believe in our contacts in the CRM, all of them in the demo are email opt out right now. Um, I went ahead and triggered one that's missing a first name, um, but has a last name. So we will do last name is not empty. And we will save this. And if we click on contacts, it should have pulled in that one contact, which it did. So you can see his last name is not empty, but his first name is. Um, so if we go back to the criteria, we can change this. And if we ran a test now where first name is not empty and save this. 
we can see that that contact is no longer pulled. So essentially, the segments are like your custom uh, views inside of um, the CRM. So like if you were to create a custom view here, all of this data to create this list, we would pull in directly into here. Now, in this case, all of these people on our contacts list for other purposes of testing, we've turned email opt out in on. Um, so they're not showing up in here. But you would be able to compare, if I go back to edit this one more time, and we do last name, is not empty, and save this. We could compare this view and this view and make sure that the lead count matches up. Um, so very powerful, quick and easy stuff to get your segments of who you want to send um, your email campaigns out to with the new sync and segment services. Um, one other thing I want to cover um, while I was in here, you can now also you know, add filters like uh, account type is you know um, active. You know, and you can do deal type is, um, you know, also active, what, whatever your, your types are set up here. But you could save this and then filter um, the various segments based now on account and deal directly inside Zoho campaigns. So really powerful stuff. Um, lots of use cases for it. Overall, the new sync is top notch. I haven't run into any issues with it yet um, amongst any clients, amongst ourselves. And then if we wanted to send uh, a campaign out, we could create a quick email campaign. We'll call this test one. We'll say it's marketing. And, you know, we do the normal subject, you know, sender details, create the content. We won't get into that too much on this video, but on recipients, you know, we would just choose the new segment we just created. And there's not going to be any leads in here. But if there was, you know, it would say told a recipients about to receive your mailing campaign here. And if they're not included with the topic, there would be a little checkbox right here. You just click that checkbox and boom, all of the contacts in this segment are now associated with the topic marketing. So, and that wraps this up for this Zoho campaigns tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to drop them in the comments section below. Um, if you did find this video useful or if you didn't, please hit the like and subscribe button below. It really helps out our channel. Um, also, if you want to see other Zoho resources, the little info icon above will take you directly here. But we have a whole dedicated section to all of the Zoho applications um, and resources, both videos, PDFs, and articles um, on pretty much every single Zoho product you could imagine. So, Until next time, thank you everyone for watching.